Hey guys, I'm about to head out for dinner. Me and my friend are going out to a nice dinner at the Viaduct and we don't get a lot of opportunities to dress up so we thought why not dress up tonight? Tonight's makeup is an easy smoky eye. I don't really like using black eyeshadow on my eyes because I feel like it's too dark for me. So I use green in place of the black. So on the lid I've got green shimmery eyeshadow and on the crease and outer corner I use a matte dark green. If you don't have these colours you can always substitute for whatever you have. Um, you can substitute the shimmery green for another pop of colour, whatever you have in your collection. And you can also substitute the dark matte green that is in the outer corner and on the crease for whatever colour that you have that is matte and that is dark enough to do a smoky eye with. If you have hooded eyes like me, you will be able to recreate this very easily. And also if you're a beginner, um, I think this makeup look will be easy enough for you to follow. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so the focus is going to be on the eyeshadow and the rest of the eye makeup. So I've already done my face base, I've got a little bit of blush on, um, and I've already primed my eyelids and done my eyebrows. So let's get on to the smoky eye. I'm going to take a light brown shade and I'm going to grab that on a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to put that all over the crease from inner corner to outer corner. This helps to create a gradient effect to our smoky eye so that it will go from really dark at the crease and it will just blend away into nothing. To deepen it up, I'm going to grab a mid-tone brown and I'm putting it exactly where I put that last color. When there is no more product left on the brush, make sure you blend everything well together. Okay, now we're going to go even darker. I don't really like using black eyeshadow because I think it lacks depth and it's just far too dark. Um, so I'm going to use a really dark green. And I'm going to get a more precise blending brush. This one is pretty much the same as the other one that I've used but just smaller and a bit more dense. Now we are going to pack that mostly on the outer corner. I'm starting in the outer crease and I'm just blending it in ever so slightly but I'm not going to go past the middle of my eye. The feature colour that is going to be on the eyelid today is this shimmery sparkly green and I'm applying it with a very dense flat thin eyeshadow brush like this. If you use a fluffy brush with shimmery eyeshadows the glitter is just going to go everywhere and it's not going to be a precise application so it's best to use a dense brush like this one. So I make sure I tap off the excess before applying it onto my eyelid because otherwise it's all just going to fall under my eyes. So I'm going to put that on the eyelid, keeping it well below the crease. For me, I have hooded eyes. If I go past the crease, the shimmer or the glitter is just going to accentuate the hood of my eye and it will look like my eye is smaller than it actually is. I'm not going to go all the way to the outer corner because we are putting a different color there and I don't want any shimmer on the outer corner. So just from inner corner to about three quarters of the way and below the crease. Going back to the very dark matte green, I am grabbing a kind of like a fat pencil brush and that's what we're going to use to apply that color on the outer corner. I'm also going to put that um, on the crease of my eye because I want it to be a little bit darker.
You can go a little bit darker than this if you want to, but I think this is dark enough for me. So I'm done with the eyelids, now I am going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. And for that I am using a shimmery white beige shade. I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this flat dense shader brush. I'm just putting that on the arch of my brow and towards the outer tail. Same eyeshadow color but using a smaller pencil brush. I'm just going to apply it to my inner corner. Because the eyelids are really dark, I'm going to balance out the lower lash line by putting some more of that really dark green. And I'm just going to put that on the outer part of my lower lash line. So I'm using a small pencil brush for this because I want it to be a really precise application. So I'm stopping about halfway to the inner corner. To smoke it out and blend it out a little bit more, I'm going to grab that first color, the kind of light cool tone brown, and I'm just going to put that exactly where I put the dark green eyeshadow on the lower lash line. And that's the eyeshadow down, now I'm just going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara. The mascara I'm using today is this Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes. I really like this mascara one. It picks up like every single lash and it's not clumpy at all. My trick to make my lashes look longer and curvier um, is to curl them after the mascara has dried. So while waiting for it to dry, I'm just going to contour the rest of my face and highlight and put on lipstick and all that. Oh, and I'm also going to contour my nose. Can't forget, can't leave the house without a nose bridge. Oh, I like that color. This is um, Colourpop Lippy Sticks Topanga in the satin finish. Now that I've done all my face makeup and done my lips, let's curl the eyelashes so they go va va voom. This, by the way, is not an eye scissor tool, Bernie. It's an eyelash curler. <laughs> I'm actually going to tight line the upper waterline, so I'm just going to grab an eyeliner pencil and I'm going to put that on the upper waterline. And the makeup tonight is complete! Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hope it was easy to follow and that you can recreate it at home. Thanks for watching, bye!